Man, I was this close to throwing stuff at my TV last night. I was watching O'Reilly, and he had on Kirsten Powers, who's usually okay, by the way. She puts up a good fight and is sometimes on the right side of issues. And he also had on another female guest, and they were talking about the 20-week abortion ban in Texas. And they either didn't know or purposely omitted the most important facts of that bill that show why it's such a terrible idea. So the whole conversation was theoretical. So they said, who could be against this? Babies can feel pain after that 20 week line. And I guess the Democrats are just in favor of babies feeling pain then. That's gotta be it. So they created a tremendous straw man about what we actually believe. And they left out four very important things. Number one, 88% of all abortions in the United States occur before 12 weeks. So what you're dealing with is gametes and zygotes and embryos and pre-gestation fetuses. Furthermore, 98% of abortions happen before that 20 week line. Only 2% occur after that line. And here's the devastating fact that they would never tell you. All of that 2% is to either save the life of the mother, or because there's a fatal fetal defect, or because of rape and incest. And the problem with the Texas bill is that it doesn't make an exception for any of those things. Now understand something, nobody is in favor of no restrictions on abortion. It's the tremendous straw man that they paint of liberals that, oh, they want seven minutes before the kid's born, who cares, give me a pair of scissors, let's do an abortion. No, nobody's in favor of that, and that's already illegal in the United States. But to not allow those exceptions for life of the mother and fatal fetal defect, you're not gonna allow that after 20 weeks, that's as extreme a bill as you can possibly get. And of course, the third thing they left out was, hello, this bill is unconstitutional. According to Roe versus Wade and the subsequent uh, Supreme Court cases on abortion, you can't put restrictions on it uh, before 24 weeks. You have to allow it up to 24 weeks, and after that, you can have restrictions. And the fourth and last point that the conservative female guest said is, look, they're just trying to make the clinics safer with these new regulations, and who could possibly be against that? And she's, of course, referring to the requirement that they need to make the abortion clinics like ambulatory centers. And the problem with that is, that's not their actual goal. What they do is purposely pass impossible to achieve regulations that have nothing to do with women's health and will shut down 90% of the abortion clinics in Texas. So for example, they'll come in there with a tape measure and they'll go, oh look, your hallways are eight feet wide and according to our new regulation, it needs to be eight feet four inches. You have a week to fix it or we're shutting you down. Or they say, oh, do you just have to get admittance uh, permits from the local hospital. Uh, and the local hospital will be a Christian hospital and they'll say, we're not giving it to you. Or they'll say, hey, you have a month to get a permit from a hospital and the process at the hospital takes three months before they approve your permit. So these are all backdoor ways to try to ban all abortion. Look, they can't win the debate on its merits, right? So what do they do? They revert to cheating and creating straw man about what we believe.